Hello YouTube. So I have my Galaxy S here, which currently is running uh, Docs ROM, uh, which is a pretty good ROM, uh, pretty fast, very very stable. As you can see there, I'm running Doc ROM version 9.6.6, .6, which has the JS5 base, has the speed mod kernel, and I'm using the JL2 radio. This is a 2.2.1 Froyo firmware. So I've decided today to that I can't continue using this phone on a daily basis with uh, Froyo anymore. I need to step it up to gingerbread. Um, I've had a very very stable gingerbread ROMs for about a month now on my desire. I haven't tried gingerbread on the Galaxy the Galaxy S platform yet so I'm gonna do that today to put gingerbread on the Galaxy S today it's uh, March 3rd we have three choices we can uh, go the cyanogen mod route we can uh, go with uh, JV1 which is a leaked uh, beta firmware from Samsung or we can go with a, there's a couple of new custom uh, ROMs that are coming out using JV1 as a base uh, from what I've read, Cyanogen, even though it's all in beta, seems to be more uh, stable than JV1. So that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to put CM7 beta on our SGS i9000. To flash Cyanogen Mod 7, we're going to do the following seven steps. You need Clockwork Mod Recovery first. We already have that on our phone. So we're just going to go down this list and flash uh, the files in order to get Cyanage Mod 7. So as you can see, to go through these seven steps, we need to first download a few files. So let's go download the files. We have our three files in a folder here. Let's uh, extract the initial package first. As you can see, USB debugging is checked. Let's plug in the phone. Let's copy Galaxy EFS backup.zip. Let's copy the initial here. We're only copying zip files, the tar files we're going to use to use with Odin. And let's copy the Google Apps also. So we have our three files now. The initial file that's 140 kilobytes, a backup.zip, and the Google Apps file copied to the SD card. We can eject the phone. Let's go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, before I begin, I'm gonna do a an Android backup of my phone in its current state. Back up all. Okay, so I'll let that run and then we can uh, get started with uh, flashing CM7. Our Nandroid backup is finished. Let's uh, flash uh, the EFS backup script. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. There's our Galaxy S EFS backup dot zip. So let's flash that. Okay, that was very fast. We are now going to use Odin to flash the tar file, the initial kernel tar file. 
that we downloaded. Uh, it's important to remember here to make sure auto reboot is checked off. Once the flash is finished, we're just going to pull the battery out to um, get the phone out of recovery mode. Okay, let's get our phone in download mode. We're ready to flash. Let's get started. Okay, the Odin flash is finished, so let's uh, pull the plug. And let's go into recovery. Let's pull the battery out. Okay, let's go to mounts and storage. Use the power button to select. <clears throat> and we want to format system. Now we want to format data and cache. Okay, now we can flash the CM7 initial zip. Okay, so that flash is finished. Now we do a wipe. Okay, so we're doing a wipe. Okay, so now we can reboot. The fun begins. Hmm, the M didn't disappear. Oh, here's our cyanogen boot up animation. This is exciting. This is Cyanogen's best boot up animation I've seen so far, I think. Okay, we're booting up for the first time. So now we have 2.32 signage and mod. So we have the orange at the, when we bounce to the bottom of a menu. The other big question everyone's going to have. Yeah, there's your CRT animation. Rotary unlock. So as you can see, we have no market here. We have no um, Gmail. So that's because we need to do the last step, which is flash the Google Apps. So let's do that. Use the Google Apps file. Okay. That was pretty fast. Now we can reboot. Thanks for watching.